Hey guys, um, I'm coming to you real quick. This one's going to be a short video. Um, I just went, I just came back from the Bell Buckle Craft Fair on Saturday. Um, so I thought I'd show you kind of what I got because I did that last year and um, <clears throat> I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, so this video won't be that long. So I'm going to start just randomly. Um, I got a flag for my front porch. This is like a um, Halloween one. I've got one of those big. Um, Side pole type things that hang from my um, front porch, like one of the columns on my front porch. So I got that. That was really cute. And I got a little one with a froggy on it. Cause I like frogs. I hope you can see that if it's far enough away. So I got those two because they kind of wear out pretty quick. Um, unless you can like find the really nice, like thick flag. So then. This is also for outside. Um, I can take this sticker off of it so you can see it better. Um, I got this little owl door hanging thing that just says um, welcome on the bottom. He's super cute. And he's made out of metal. So, he's really cute. And that, um, that they didn't like make there the artist person didn't make that I mean it's got a tag on it says it came from China so I mean not everything at that craft fair is handmade but a lot of stuff is so this is handmade and it's metal um it was made by the person out there I bought it from it's a big flower I thought this was so cool if you um it's like pink and it's real heavy so if you've seen my last um, bell buckle video that I made last year. Um, I think last year I got a, I can't remember if it was a turtle or something like that made out of metal. I had to put it on the floor because it's kind of big. But, um, that's the same people that made this. I kind of buy something from them every year. I have a couple of, um, French Bulldog metal, um, things and I have a turtle and, um, I have a little flower. I bought the, a little flower one year and, um, so, yeah, I love that stuff. It's so cool, and it, like, as it weathers, it looks even neater. So, I went, my favorite part of the craft fair, these little brown bags. This is soap um, that I got, and I don't think I have one of the cards this year, because um, I'm friends with them on Facebook, or I follow them on Facebook, so I have their address, their web address, just you know, right, easy to get. So, um, this is what some of them look like. Here's the first four. And I can't remember exactly. This one's like Plumeria or Lilac. I think this one might be Lilac. And then, I don't know, this one's like Mint. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember all the, the flavors I got. This one is Dog Soap. It's made to wash your dogs with, and it's supposed to help, like, moisturize their skin, but also repel ticks. It's probably got, like, tea tree in it or something like that, but, um, so that's what's in that bag of soup. Ooh, and they're kind of heavy as well. I guess I'm saying everything's heavy. Now, this bag is all, all the oatmeal soap. This is what the oatmeal soap looks like. This bag is, like, four or five bars of the oatmeal soap and I love this oatmeal soap um it's my favorite of all time it just smells good and it leaves your skin feeling good and my skin gets really dry and itchy and it helps a lot um now this let me see this is not written on I got um I've never had these before and I haven't used any of these and I don't know if you can tell um from right here, my lips are really just. <laughs> but, um, I got some chapstick they make. And let me see if I can get this out of here. I may not be able to right now. I didn't think it was so well tied. Um, but this chapstick is made, I look, I was looking at it when I was there. Like, they had some loose ones you could look at a little bit better. Um, but anyway, it's made from, it's handmade lip balm out of um it's basically beeswax 
olive oil, coconut oil, cocoa butter, honey, and then then it's like whatever it is that makes it smell. So it's um, this one has orange essential oil. This one has vanilla bean infusion um, and cocoa butter. Well, this one has cocoa butter. So that one's like vanilla bean. This one has a peppermint essential oil in it. And they're really cute. I don't know if you can see them, but they have little bees on the thing. And the man, I think, makes the soap and his wife makes the lip balms. I think they have other stuff. I think they do like maybe body wash and stuff as well. But um, they're called Herschel's Handmade Soaps. And I, they're on Facebook for sure. Um, and you'll know if you look for them, you'll know it's them because they make um, doggy soap. Like that's one of their big things is that doggy soap. So if you see somebody that's like, we make doggy soap, that's probably them. Um... So, and their stuff is really good. Well, their soaps are really good. I really, really like their soaps. So, finally, finally was able to get one out. Um, her name is Susan Huntley. There it is right there. And the, e the website, this has a website on it, is www.doggysoap.com. D-O-G-G-I-E-S-O-A-P.com. And... These, it smells so great. So, let me see. Mmm. You know what this reminds me of? Those, um, dried orange peels that you, that you get during Christmas that smell really good. This is what kind of what that smells like. And that is all I got. So, um, I did get a purse. Well, I didn't get it. My mom got it for me. And a Scentsy, um, Thing, but she's got them, you know, on hostage situation until uh, my birthday. So, um, that's what I got. And, um, oh, I guess I should tell you, the craft fair, it's called the Web School Craft Fair, and it's in Bell Buckle, Tennessee, every year in October, usually around the, the 10th, that whatever weekend is like the 13th, 14th-ish weekend, like that kind of, um, it's usually in those teen days. So, and it's um, Saturday and Sunday, and basically the whole town shuts down <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, and it's just one huge craft fair through their whole town. So, it's really awesome um, if you ever are around the um, Middle Tennessee area during this time of year, it would be great to go, because it's, it's really fun. They have all kinds of stuff. Um, they have, like, all kinds of fair food, and they have, like, handmade stuff, and then they have kind of like vendor type stuff and just oh I got a pillow too I don't have it it's in the bedroom I got one of those pillows that are like bamboo and memory foam so and it's it's working pretty good I've slept on it a couple of days now so um yeah that's the other big thing I knew I got something big um but yeah so I would highly recommend if you're in this area or if you're like one of those craft fair people that like travels and goes to craft fairs Look this one up. It's called the Web School Craft Fair in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Um, next weekend, so coming up in a few days, is the Fiber in the Borough. It's not a craft fair. I don't think it's. I don't know what they call it. They just call it Fiber in the Borough. It's a um, fiber arts festival. Let's just yeah, we'll call it a festival. And um, so I'm gonna go to that. I don't know if I'll buy anything this year. Um, I want to get some more fiber because um, I want to get back into my spinning, but, um, I'll just see, you know, I'm not taking any classes this year, I didn't like the classes that they offered this year, I wasn't very interested in any of those, but, um, we'll see, I'm gonna go, and I'll, um, let you know, if I don't buy anything, or if I don't have anything to show you, you'll just, I'll just talk about it in my next things that I finished video, but, um, yeah, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, bye!